Hi, welcome to our reading for July 2018. Remember, it's a general reading, so see what feels right for you. See which signs, symbols, bells, whistles, messages, energies resonate for you and bring you clarity to what you're wondering, concerned, confused, inquiring, dreaming, and praying about. We are all spiritual. We are all psychic. We are all children of God, but we're not all going through the same thing at the same time at the same pace. This could clarify the past. It could shed light into the future or be right in sync with the now. In the end, always use your logic and intuition together to make sound decisions based in love for the highest and greatest good of everybody so we're all uplifted in love see how it feels for you if you want a more in-depth look at your month check out your sun moon and rising sign videos and if you get a chance try to check out the musical playlist that i put below see if there's something personal for you in the lyrics in the music or just enjoy the tunes thank you so much for being here i hope you have a beautiful july i love you and i'll see you in a moment hi cancer so before we begin your reading if you have a cancer son, happy birthday. Happy birthday, guys. I hope you're having a beautiful birthday month. Many blessings to you. I love you so much. I hope you enjoy this reading. I'll see you in a moment. Sir, welcome to our reading for cancer. Sun, moon, and rising. Let's begin. Let's get clarity on the energies coming through in July 2018. Now, the Random Shuffle Pandora song that came through for Cancer was Visions by the Dirty Heads. So, I'm going to find that song and put it below for you guys. Now, let's begin the reading. We're going to start with an angel card. Let's see what God, Source, Holy Spirit, our higher self, angels, and energies of love have for the highest and greatest good of all. We're gonna start with one card, get some basic advice coming through for Cancer, some clarity on July 2018. And we have Vanessa coming through for Cancer. So this is bringing that question back to you. This is asking yourself some good questions, you know, trusting your gut on something, trusting that inner guidance system, your own connection to God. This is making a decision as well. So maybe you have to weigh the pros and the cons. Maybe it's a battle between your head and your heart. Start with your heart, you know, start with what feels right and feels blessed and feels good to you. Um, to make your decision, ask yourself which, br which way brings me closer to my divine purpose and which way takes me away from it. Which feels right to you. One step in that direction and then see which doors open up for you. I feel like there is something a working behind closed doors, be uh, beyond the horizon that you can't see yet. So trust You'll make it. You'll make it up that mountain and you'll see the bigger picture in a situation. So right now, pay attention to what you can do today. It could be five minutes today, five minutes tomorrow, something small that makes a big difference in the long run. So start one thing at a time. You know, make one decision and see where that brings you. Have that one conversation first. I hear presumptuous. So maybe somebody was presumptuous with you or thought they knew something and didn't have the whole story. Maybe it's time to communicate, um, to put your ideas out there, to help somebody else see your perspective, or maybe you need to learn about somebody else's perspective. See where somebody was coming from first before you make a decision. So gather more information before you pursue something or take one step at a time and see where it leads you. You don't have to do everything at once. So to make your decision, ask yourself, which way brings me closer to my divine purpose 
and which way takes me from it. So if you head down a path and there's a detour or a no, perhaps it was to take you to a totally different path that you couldn't see from where you were standing before. I hope that made sense. So just continue, take it slow, day by day. I hear day by day, Cancer. So let's get clarity on Vanessa. We're gonna move along to the vice versa tarot and get clarity on traveling down a new path or continuing down that path that you know is working out. Um, I feel like you're doing something right, Cancer. You know the right direction. You know what feels right. You know what feels right in your gut. So start there. Trust yourself, Cancer. All right, let's get clarity for Vanessa making a decision weighing out all of your options. Maybe there's more than one option. Maybe there's more than one direction you can go at the same time. Maybe this is a multitasking energy coming through for you guys. So if you're handling a lot of different situations, know you can do it. Start with what needs your attention the most, but I feel like day by day, you're going to grow, you're going to learn, you'll adapt. So let's get clarity on Vanessa. And, all right, we have the Knight of Rods coming through. So this is spontaneous, sexy, adventurous energy coming through. This could be you, Cancer, or this could be somebody coming through wanting to go on an adventure with you, wanting to do something with you. I feel like he's a very quick knight. He's very passionate. Sometimes he's the wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. But it's on to the next. When he wants to pursue something, he's in it for the long haul. He's back for another adventure again and again. So I feel like this knight is interested in you. So this could be you if you have fire in your chart, or it could be like an Aries, uh, Sagittarius, or Leo-like energy. Somebody very spontaneous, very adventurous, very exciting. This person likes to laugh. You know, they like to get out of the house and do something. Even, I want to say if it's in a book or knowledge, this could be expansion in his or her mind, learning something new, new ideas, new inspirations coming through. So maybe he has a really good idea for you, something you can pursue together. Um, maybe this is a vacation coming through or signing up for a class together. This could be like a workout buddy. This could be a new friend coming through. This could be a very passionate romance coming through for you guys. Um, it's getting on this unicorn. So there's a magical energy here. And um, I feel like you're just riding this animal. You're riding this animalistic um, energy through a situation. So get on that horse and ride, you know, try something out. I feel like he has the staff of inspiration. Let me show you these cards. So it's daytime here, you know, it looks like it's barren, you know, like there's not much going on on the land. There's not much growth yet. So maybe you have to ride towards something to see it grow. You have to change your environment, change your perspective first and get to a new place before you see the growth. So be patient, even though this knight wants to be fast, try to be patient, try to open that book and learn more about it. Um, on the other side, there's lightning. So this makes me think of something coming in a flash, a flash of inspiration, something that feels like a light bulb going off inside of you, like new knowledge coming through, new ideas popping through. You know, I feel like he wants an adventure. So see where this adventure leads you, Cancer. Let's get clarity on the Knight of Rods, this passionate energy, this stallion coming through for Cancer, riding the waves of inspiration as they come. So maybe you need to write something down or plan accordingly so you can pursue something in the future. This could be something very spontaneous, a spontaneous phone call or invitation that comes through to do something. Um, 
he could be a loner, wants to do something by his or herself, but I feel like they're coming towards you. So let's get clarity on the Knight of Rods and Vanessa to make a decision, making a decision to do something or to not do something. Not doing something and not making a decision is also making a decision. So let's get clarity for Cancer. And we have the two of autumns. So you're definitely weighing the, the pros and the cons. This is the multitasking card. So you're definitely handling different personalities, different situations all at once. This is going to school, going to work, taking care of the kids, taking care of the family, also giving yourself some you time all at once. So when the two of autumn or the two of pentacles comes through, you have to pay attention to your scale. What feels too heavy in your world and where can you lighten the load? How can you change around your schedule so you have more you time or you have more time to exercise, to do yoga, to do meditation, to read a book, um, to go on vacation? Maybe it's more time at work. Maybe this is more time at home. This could be doing chores, handling everything at once. Maybe it's putting some responsibility in somebody else's hands so you have more time for you. It's changing things around little by little and a little tweak, a little change makes a big difference in your world. But this is definitely day by day. This is also weighing pros and cons, possibly uh, decisions between the head and the heart. Um, so write down, you know, the pros and the cons, write down, I want to say write down the blessings of a situation. See how something brought you growth, you know, how it brought change into your world and allow change to come through. Allow yourself time to adapt to a situation. The two of autumn is bringing fun into everything that you do, juggling multiple priorities or jobs. So maybe there's more than one thing you have to do. And it starts with that one thing in front of you that you can do now. And if you have to put something off until tomorrow or until next week, then you can get to it when you can get to it. Um, this could be somebody in particular that needs your attention first as well. Maybe that's you, Cancer. You know, bringing that nutrition back on your plate. You know, balancing your own scales first so you're not giving from an empty plate. So bringing fun into everything you do. So make it fun. You know, make it exciting. Put some passion in what you do. Are you doing what makes you joyful? You know, maybe it's just putting some good music on and that changes the energy around. Playing some good music when you're cleaning, dancing around the house so it doesn't feel like such a chore. You know, changing something up. Feeling alive when this card comes through is how to get through it. So it's also an exceptional talent for multitasking. So you can do it. You can handle it all. Just do what you can do now. You'll figure it out as you go. You're going to rearrange something to make it flow better. So let's get clarity on um, the, I like this night. This could also be letting somebody go. You know, maybe somebody's coming through fast, but they have something else they need to do. They have something they need to attend. And allow that energy to leave if it brings you back into your own space, your own place. Maybe you're changing or relocating your space. Maybe some sacred space is important for cancer, so you have some you time. So multitasking, writing stuff down, rearranging your schedule. Um, maybe you need to write everything on a calendar, maybe an old fashioned calendar that you can put on the wall, put on your refrigerator so you can see everything in front of you. Maybe this is, um, you know, something you do on the computer or on your phone so you get uh, I want to say like bells that come through when you're supposed to do something. So you have alarms that go off so you don't forget something. So even if it's a reminder to call somebody, you know, or sending that text now, make one phone call, Cancer. Make one uh, reach out for communication and see what comes back to you. See what communication comes through. Um, 
talent. I feel like you're also multi-talented when I look at this card. Like, you actually have a lot of things you're super good at, and maybe it's making the, de the decision on which one to focus your attention on. You know, maybe it's one thing a day. Maybe it's doing it all at once, but um, sectioning it out differently so you can handle it all. Or maybe it's doing everything at once. It makes me think of like a one, one man band. Um, that makes me think of the song Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious. That was a really random song to come through for you guys. Um, but I think he has like a one man band. So I'll find that song and I'll put it below for you guys. All right, let's see. Let's get clarity on the two of autumn. Um, bringing fun into everything that you do, maybe being spontaneous, um, maybe just setting aside work, you know, for the meantime and getting out of the ruckus and just having a picnic, you know, changing your energy around so that when you go back to do that chore, it doesn't feel like a chore. Your energy is changed, therefore what you do is changed. This could also be just cleaning up your house. You know, doing some good cleaning, cleaning out your cupboards, starting with one closet, getting yourself some nice hangers that make a big difference in your organization. Maybe you're giving some stuff to charity or helping with a charity, something like that. Maybe you're helping somebody else get organized. When you get your space organized, it makes you feel more organized inside as well. You know, as above, so below, as without, so within. So maybe you need to clear your space, clear your surroundings so you can move more free freely. I also think of clearing your schedule. So maybe you need to rearrange something so you have more space somewhere. Even if it's a weekend, even if it's just a little space in the morning, you know, a little pocket of time in the evening for you. You know, maybe this is getting yourself a massage. So let's get clarity with the Sacred Traveler Oracle on multitasking. Two of Autumn, making a decision. Maybe there's hesitation, you know, or you're procrastinating on something, Cancer. And maybe it's just making one decision, starting with one conversation, you know, pursuing one thing, making that one phone call, and that gets the ball rolling for you. So let's get clarity for Cancer on the Two of Autumn, the Knight of Rods, and Vanessa making a decision. Reaching your destination beautiful cancer so you're on the right path you're going to feel out that path as you walk and know it's the right direction for you if i hear a job if a job doesn't come through or a position didn't go through in the past it's because the right thing is being orchestrated for you possibly behind closed doors or possibly it's a timing thing it wasn't ready before somebody else wasn't ready for you before but it will come through you know the right door will open up so look for open doors look for the path that feels right your light is shining brightly allow others to see your light let yourself shine i feel like you're very very talented somewhere you have a passion somewhere in your world that you want to pursue something you want to do something there's something that you do that gets you excited when you talk about it it gets others excited because they see your enthusiasm they see how authentic you are with it. So what is that for you? What gets you excited? What do you want to pursue? What do you really want to do with your time, with your energy? You don't have to do it all day, every day. You have to just give yourself a little bit of time that changes your energy for the rest of the day. I hope that makes sense. Your light is shining brightly. Follow the yellow, yellow brick road here. I feel like you can foresee the future, you can feel out a situation, you can uh, manifest blessings. Pay attention to the blessings, to the miracles that happen to you. Maybe write them down. The more you notice, the more it happens. Um, 
the butterfly makes me think of transformation. So starting at the caterpillar, becoming a little bit uncomfortable while you grow your wings, but once you can fly, you understand why you had to go through that thing or that hurdle. So reaching your destination. So it's about the journey, Cancer. Let me see this. Let's see. Your light is shining brightly. All your hard work and effort is paying off. Glory, triumph, and success are yours. If you've given your power away, now is the time to reclaim it. It's time to stand in your own light. A destination is less of a place, but more of a new way of seeing the world. So this is a new perspective on your situation. This is understanding why you went through something in the past. It was to bring you right where you are now. You know, so you can see something a different way. So you can do something a different way. So you can approach that person a different way that gets the right response. So if you're giving too much away, bring that energy back to you. Your dreams are moving in fruition. If you have any incomplete projects or unresolved relationships, this is the time to complete them. This is an important part of reaching your destination. Take time to celebrate and acknowledge the success in life. The sacred traveler wants you to know the voyage was long and there were many adventures along the way. Experience, you know, this is adventure here. But as, you, you're, as your trek reaches the destination, there's a feeling of joy and celebration. It's important to stop and rest and congratulate yourself for who you are and for, and for what you have done. The traveler forgives those who on the voyage were less than honorable. Release any feelings of resentment, fear, and sadness that you may have gathered along the road. Don't bring that baggage with you. Know that what you went through was for growth. You know, it was to bring you to a different place. It was to bring you new understanding, inner standing. Forgive, you know, forgive others. Forgive yourself for a situation and see how it brought you growth or a new perspective. You've reached your goal. Let everything else go. You are, ma you are a majestic being who can bring light into the heart of others. Celebrate and honor yourself. You are so worth it. That just made me think of Worth It by The Weeknd. I'll put that song below for you guys. All right, so there's some passionate energy coming through. There's some magical energy. There's a new destination. There's a new feeling you have on that path you're already on. Trust your gut. Trust the inner guidance system. You're going to get where you need to be, you know, in divine timing. It's going to feel good. I hope this reading was helpful. Cancer, I love you so much. I hope you have a beautiful July, and I'll see you soon. Bye.